Hey guys, it's Bridget. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day. And today's video is going to be a little just easy, simple, get ready with me. I'm going to sit here and chat with you guys and just talk about life. Maybe we can keep each other company. Maybe you can get ready with me. I have my eyes and eyebrows done. I've worn this all day. I just wiped off my face makeup to like refresh myself and redo it. So that's what we're going to do today. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Also, my hair is split dyed. If you didn't see that video, I'll leave a link down below because I'm very excited about it. But let's get into the video. Okay, so I'll leave all the products I use linked down below. I'm going to start off with the Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer um, because I forget to use it sometimes. Like, I like it. It's okay. But I forget to use it sometimes. And also, I am getting ready in my bedroom um, because I'm painting the filming room right now. Well, it's been painted, but it's going to get touched up. Because in the, this video where you saw my hair getting dyed and stuff, it was already white. But it's not perfect, so I touched it up and it smells bad in there. And I don't feel like I'll have to bring out the studio lights. Because it might touch the outlet. Which is probably wet with paint. So, <laughs> that's the reason for this lighting. Also, it is the only room that doesn't have too bad of an echo right now. I did... Okay, hear me out. So, I bought a rug on Amazon for the filming room. It got dirty immediately. Um... And it was expensive and it just it was supposed to be black and white it's black and ivory which is not the same and it still caught every piece of cat hair every piece of anything so that's not gonna work for the space and also it was really really thin so it, there's still an echo and I also bought I was like okay I'm gonna return this one and I bought one from a from a home goods because it opened up yesterday and I can't use that one either because one, it's smaller, but it was the only gray one they had that wasn't super shaggy and I don't like shaggy. Ooh, it's a girl. I don't like super shaggy, like thick rugs. I just don't like it. I feel like it hoards dust and hoards pet hair and stuff that you can't see. <laughs> Look at her. Girly. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want a shaggy or shaggy rug. So I got that one. It's also too small and very thin and it still like curls up because it's kind of like a bath mat texture so that one's not gonna work <laughs> and i feel bad returning stuff but it's just it's that one's still new i literally enrolled it was like it's not gonna work and rolled it back up so i feel bad but that has to be done i'm using the stellar foundation by the way because i forget to use this as well so i'm thinking of just biting the bullet and buying a shaggy gray rug my color scheme for the house is black, white, gray with accents of gold, um, which mostly everything's black it feels like, except I can't paint the walls. I'm not supposed to paint the walls, but I did in that filming room because it's like a necessity for my living. I have to have that wall white. And in my old apartment, I had it paper taped to the walls to make my background look white, and it was a mess, so I'll just paint it back. Um, when I move or they'll keep my deposit, it's fine. I want that room white. Um, but regardless, I really don't want to get a shaggy rug, but I have to to get those echoes out of the room. I even, the other, yesterday? Or the day before? Yesterday the day before, I was trying to film something, and I literally had both, um, the Amazon rug that I still haven't returned yet, need to return, and a blanket, like my comforter for my bed, nailed to the wall. So I had the rug on the floor. And that nailed to the wall, like my blanket nailed to the wall to prevent echoes, and it worked a little bit. So, you know, it's an option here if I didn't need the blanket on my bed. So, I'm just working things out. I don't know if I said this, my couch came in today, you guys. Oh my gosh. So, I mean, I'm, I'm broke now. <laughs> um, but, I have a living room. And I didn't have a living floor, I had a studio, so I didn't, I, I really need a lot for here that I didn't need in the other one because it was literally one room with a half wall and I filmed another half, which was still one room, so I didn't need a lot. Um, but I have a living room, it's empty now. I bought a rug that I do like from Sam's Club that was on sale, it's an 8x10 for $59, so 60 bucks. That's a great deal for an 8x10 rug and I really like it and it's great and it's really pretty. And I got a couch and it came in and I'm super excited to like, I'm like open it up and see what it looks like. Uh, because that was like, 
a big big purchase like my camera is the only other thing I can think of off the top of my head that was more expensive but again like the camera's for work the couch is just for like me and like if I have people over which I would like to have more of a social life anyway so I feel like that's great and I really need it because that room is so empty like it's a big living room and a dining room right next to it and I don't have a dining room table I didn't have a couch or anything so literally in there was a litter box between the living room and the dining room was a tv stand that I got from home goods and had in the last apartment and a litter box in the dining room like that's it's so such a waste of space sorry that was loud but you know I was working with what I had and I finally got a couch in I hope everything like it all the pieces are there and it comes together nicely um and I'm very excited about it so I need to get like a coffee table I really want a coffee table shaped like a coffin like a coffin coffee table you know but I feel like that's not a necessity I'm hoping the thrift stores open back up soon and I can just thrift a dining room table and just like paint it black and call it a day because that works for me like one of the what are the odds I'll actually eat at the dining room table between having a tv in my bedroom and in the living room but I do like I paint a lot and I do like I mean, I spray paint and paint a lot of stuff. Rather than buying new stuff, I'm just painting the things I already have to fit my color scheme. And that's what I do to a lot. Like, I have an upcycle highlight on my Instagram, but I never post things to it that I do on, like, the daily, which is just, like, spray painting this thing gold or spray painting this thing black. So I feel like that's not interesting, but I love the befores and afters of that. But I don't really think it counts as upcycling because I'm literally just painting something or spray painting it. Um, today I painted a little, it's like a fake succulent little hexagon thing with like a fake planter and I painted that black and then like the inside a darker gray and I really really like it. I forgot some brushes, I'll be right back. But I've also had, so I'm excited about the couch, I'm excited about like maybe thrifting some things and filling up the dining room or maybe getting a, there's like a little island that like when you exit the kitchen there's like a little island and then the doorway for the kitchen so I'm thinking maybe I could put a bar stool there but I don't think there's enough space if I put a dining room table there too just curious about possibilities I'm trying to make this space feel like a home and not just like an empty shell because everywhere I walk in this house it's just echoes or this apartment I mean it's not a house it's just echoes like if I wear shoes in the house like I leave just like <coughs> like echoing 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 because it's so hollow, but with a living room rug and hopefully, I don't know, like everything else and maybe getting the correct rug for the filming room, it won't be as bad. But it's kind of creepy at night when like the cats go to the litter box and they start scratching and it's just like a million layers of that noise, you know? It's pretty weird and pretty lonely too. Like a really echoey house is very lonely. But I'm glad I bit the bullet, even though it was a big purchase, and got a couch. It's not, I mean, it's a, it's a futon, technically. But I got an accent chair, too, so it's kind of like a love seat. And there's an accent chair I'm very excited about. I can't wait to see it out of the box. <laughs> but obviously I need help putting that together. I will say that I've never had as many issues in my life as getting into this apartment. So let's talk about that. So... Firstly, they didn't let me move in the right day. I was supposed to move in the 30th. They were like, no, 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 it starts on the 1st. I was like, you know what? I'm going to suck it up. Pay an extra day for the U-Haul truck because I couldn't, you know, it was not going to fit in everything. I have like a lot of storage. And I bit the bullet and I paid the extra day for the, the truck. And then I showed up the next morning. I was like, all right, it's the 1st. My lease starts. Give me the keys. And they would not let me in the apartment. They weren't going to let me in the, on the 1st either because they hadn't cleaned it. They let me on the 30th because they hadn't touched it since the last person moved out. And there was someone in the apartment like epoxying the kitchen counters. And I've never seen such bad kitchen counters in my life. It's like peely, gross. It looks terrible. I'll insert a picture of it. But I waited an extra day for them to do that mess. And it's not just the kitchen, it's also in the bathrooms. So I didn't get in the right day. I didn't get in until 4 o'clock in the afternoon the next day. And I could only put my stuff in one bedroom. It was 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And they were still cleaning the place. Because they hadn't done it beforehand. 
so not the 30th but the first in the afternoon was when I finally got in I was only allowed to put stuff in the um what would be my filming room now and they didn't even want me to do that they didn't want me at all but I put my foot down and I had people come with me to the office like to be like hey you gotta let her in like we were hired to help her move like she has to get in so I wasn't allowed anywhere but the one room until they got done cleaning and they hadn't been given the keys yet so when I went to go like we emptied out the truck and put everything in the one bedroom and we went to go return the, the U-Haul truck they had finished cleaning they locked us out and I'd have a key and the office was about to close so I had to go rush down the office like give me the key like I have to get in there today they locked me out like all my stuff's in there I don't you know I don't have a place to live now I gave you the keys to the apartment so uh that was a mess and then I moved in so it was a Saturday I moved in and Saturday so Saturday afternoon like Saturday night I guess I went shopping I like filled the fridge and then Saturday at like midnight or one o'clock or something I got up and got something to drink and I realized the fridge had died now they had cleaned out the fridge like took it outside with the water hose when I was putting stuff in the one bedroom so I knew it was getting cold when I stocked it and I was like okay it's getting cold it's fine but I guess somewhere in between getting cold it decided to pass away and there was like little bugs and everything living in it and like everything I pulled out of the the dying fridge had like slime from, I guess from the bugs or something it had like a residue on it it was gross so I had to lose all of that and I was told they're gonna make that right like fix that or like I guess I told them how much it cost and everything and I guess they're gonna try to make up for that we'll see when the rents due on next month um, and then I was given the wrong mailbox key I just now got the right one today so I didn't have access to my mailbox the packages that were supposed to be that were allegedly delivered to my old apartment were not or the office says they don't have them one of the bathrooms like the I guess it's the master bathroom the big room is what I use for filming I don't use it as a bedroom because filming and working is more important to me than having a big bedroom so the master bathroom toilet when you flush it it would squirt water against the wall like whoosh. and when I went to go get that fixed they replaced the fridge but they did not fix that issue or the under the sink le leaking I had to like file a thing telling them it was wrong and it was still doing this they didn't fix it yet so that was irritating too eventually they did fix the bathroom and under the sink and once those problems are fixed that's when I decided to paint that room but I don't know it's just been a mess like those are all the issues moving in I'm glad that I have a piece of furniture in the living room I still do I like a TV for the living room which I'm not excited about and a sound bar so really once I get a sound bar a TV and a dining room like set I could probably thrift that maybe I don't know if I could thrift chairs with it probably be harder to get the chairs with the table I could probably thrift the table then get chairs later but either way once that's done and Ikea opens back up I'm not gonna get any of those things from Ikea I'm gonna wait to get like closet organization from Ikea because there's a lot of closets in here but there's no organization there it's just a bare closet so I need to put like cheap little Ikea shelving things in there hopefully but I feel like my face is done really fast hmm. I'm not putting lipstick on it's not happening anyways you guys thank you so much for getting ready with me I had to tell my chaotic story of everything that went wrong trying to move into this place which makes it seem like a bad move right hopefully they take money off my rent for all the food that I lost the extra truck day like they said they would um I can't believe it was such a problem getting in here <laughs> but now that I'm in here like I like the space like it's so much more space it's better than a one bedroom the cats really enjoy it I have a designated working space now which is really great because before it was like my working space was my living space there was no separation at least now I have actual bedroom not filming lights like two feet away on the other side of a half wall 
from my bed, literally within like 10 feet of my working office. Like at least it's a little bit separated now. I do enjoy that. And once it's filled in, like I think this would be a good place to live and hopefully it works out. It's not too expensive and because I'm scared about the electric bill now that I have central air because I had just like a little window thing before. I'm scared like how much is the electric going to be for that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is our skin. Wow. It looks very pale in this um, light. <laughs> oh, also, if you're wondering where this shirt is from, it is from FYE. It's a dude's shirt. So I just like men's shirts around the house. Anyway, so you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.